Hey guys, so I uh, would like to tell you guys what's going on with Chess Bank, okay? So it's happened before with the ATM out there, right there. Um, now it's happened again. Um, it's not... Uh, I When I bring in $1,800, um, when I count at home f four times, I count four times, okay? $1,800 and I uh, is $2, $20 bill, $50 bill, $5, $10 and $1 bills. So I separate them out to 18 stack. 18 stack and then I put them together uh, twice. So that is $1,800. I took out $49 to pay for credit card at uh, and and uh, so the remaining um, it's 1751 right so I bring it into the bank with the envelope and um, they give it to the teller she put it into the machine okay the machine behind the teller uh, behind the uh, uh, the counter in the teller so when you bring the money into the bank always ask them to count it by hand and then count it by the um, by by the uh, the little machine on the countertop. Don't let them put into their machine, okay? Don't let them put into their machine. Count it by hand first, and then count it by the the little one on the countertop, okay? So that way you're not going to lose your money or make a mistake, or the machine eat your money. So now in there they are. Uh, running that machine there is yesterday today that's two day different okay I'm upset yes I am upset because I lost my two hundred dollars hard earning money and um, and now they counted machine in there yesterday I talked to I tell the teller and she say okay she will check at the end of the day well they own the bank always check at the end of the day they recount their money right I don't think this one do. That's one thing, and um, because now they they say that they will run the, the the machine. Yesterday they don't run it. I told the teller she say that only when their machine make a mistake or their machine have an error. Now how does she know that their machine have an error? The machine will say it. Well, if, what if the machine don't say it, but it's eat the money, right? And the machine doesn't say it at that time. And I told the teller. The one from the left to right is the third one from from the left. Um, so I forgot what her name was. Um, but um, see when you when you are and um, yesterday I called the 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 the, the bank. Nobody picked up the phone for like an hour. I keep recall recall call again and again. And then then I called the center, which is the customer service one eight hundred number one eight six six five 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 whatever. And they, they took down the information and they sent to the bank. And uh, this bank is on uh, 4440 White Man um, in City Heights, San Diego, California. So I came in today. Yesterday is uh, late. And uh, finally, somebody picked up the phone. So that is late. So I come in today. And, and the guy said the manager is not here today. Okay, so he went back to the uh, behind the counter and he talked to them and... Uh, they say uh, uh, he come back out. He say um, they are running the machine in now. So if it's a pop up two hundred dollar extra, he will give me a call. Either way, he will give me a call. Okay. So how do you know that they own us, right? And and how do you know that? You know whatever. In any cases, you guys think that I can miscount the money? How can I miscount the money? F um. For four times. Um, and then I separate them out four stack different four stack. I mean uh, eight, 18 stack four times, right? Um, I get paid fourteen hundred dollars from somebody my aunt ran the room. One thousand four hundred dollars for the house, um, one of the unit, and then two hundred dollars I drive people to LAX. That two hundred dollars from San Diego to LAX, Los Angeles airport. Uh, two hundred dollars, and then the um, another two hundred dollars is from I doing laundry for people, and um, also drive people to the doctor and translating for them. 
so that uh, more than $200, like $2,000, but I deposit only $1,800. I separate that many out, and then uh, $1,800, I count them four times, okay? So in my case, in your case, when you guys bring the money in the bank, doesn't matter how many count, time you count it, you still ask them to count it by hand, and then count with the machine there, Okay, so the machine is count right in front of you. Turn the number toward you so you can see the number. Okay, so don't make the mistake that I did. I didn't make the mistake. I asked them to do that, but the lady not not doing it. Okay, so she do it too quick. She take the stack of money. She write down the number, my account number, blah blah blah, on the computer, and then she just put the money in there. She did not count it by hand or count with the uh, the the. Um, the, the little machine over the counter after I um, after I uh, say that oh oh I mean like when she, she say not a thousand seven hundred fifty is only um, uh, it's only uh, one thousand five hundred fifty one that mean I like short sort of a sort of fifteen uh, short of a two hundred dollars only fifteen fifty one right so she start to take the money out of the machine well, the machine is already took the money. She already took the money in there. Now the machine pop up the pop the money back out, and she put it on the the the, the machine, the little machine on the on the countertop. Does that make a difference? No. The, the the machine, the big machine, could have took ate the money, right? So so don't don't do what what. So you guys got to be very careful with these people. I mean, this bank, I lost the money twice. One before, and now it's happened again. Now it's happened again. Okay, this branch. Okay, thank you very much for viewing my video, guys. Please do like, subscribe, and check out the link below. Below the video, uh, click on show more, and it will show you. Thank you so very much. Have a good day. Have a good weekend. I'm really frustrated and really sad. I lost 200 dollars were hard on money.